trying to help people. They want money. A lot of these people don't have money and funds to get out of New Orleans like that. These people knew that this was going to happen, and they didn't make any type of plans, and I, and I blame Bush. When Bush got off that Air Force One, he seemed like he was more concerned about his dog than he was these people out here in New Orleans. And it's sad that they sitting here allowing these people to die on the streets like that. And I bet you if his family or his daughters was out there in the military, all this wouldn't be happening. And I pray for him, and I, and I really hope that God move him and help these people out there. Well, you showed pictures earlier this morning of water being dropped off of helicopters, so a lot is being done. And sometimes the television news don't present a complete picture. And I think we can do more, but we also have to act imaginatively. And that's why I've mentioned and made some suggestions of how we can handle this disaster differently than we have in the past and sweep away some of the rules and the barriers that often prevent people from rebuilding as quickly as possible. There's one place in one newspaper this morning that they say Saddam is going to be on trial after October the 15th right away within that time period. Uh, what's your reaction to that? Uh, I, 